cold, though, on Thursday. The high temperature just 35. Let's get cooking, cooking, cooking with Hi, everybody. Good morning. I have a really delicious recipe that I think your family is going to absolutely love. It's one of my husband Bob's new favorites. You know, sometimes we get in that recipe rut and we're making the same thing all the time. We make a lot of chicken at my house, so you got to change things up every once in a while. And this one's a new recipe of mine, and I love it. I think you will, too. It's a Swiss almond chicken bake, and it's really easy to throw together. So I've got a nice big 9 by 13 casserole dish, and I just want to spray it with cooking spray. And then I have four boneless, skinless dad's chicken breasts festival that I'm just going to line right up into this pan. You could even do six if you've got a bigger family and maybe you want a few leftovers. Okay, so line those up there. Season those chicken breasts with a little bit of salt and pepper. And now we're going to make a wonderful sauce that this is going to bake in. So it starts, the sauce starts with one can of cream of chicken soup. Let's get that into a big bowl. Get every little last bit out of that. Now we've got one cup of milk, one cup of sour cream, one cup of mayonnaise. Now this is mayonnaise, not salad dressing, so it's the good stuff, the real stuff, not the sweeter stuff. That's more for sandwiches. And then a splash of wine. This is a dry white wine. The recipe calls for about a cup, but just kind of eyeball it. You can do a little less, and if you don't want to cook with wine, not a big deal. You can just substitute chicken stock. Okay, so I'm going to whisk that all together. And you'll notice it's a lot of liquid, but it's going to form a wonderful, rich gravy. All right, perfect. Get it nice and smooth. And then you're just going to pour it right on top of those chicken breasts. Four to six chicken breasts. I want to get every little last bit out of there. So I'm just going to use a spatula. Get it on top of that chicken. Spread it around. And now, here's where the Swiss comes in. I've got two cups of shredded Swiss cheese that I'm just going to sprinkle right on top of that sauce. And then I've got half cup of sliced or slivered almonds that are going to go right on top of that. If you're not a nut person, just leave them out. It's still going to be fantastic. Cover this loosely with foil. Bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 45 to 55 minutes. At that point, you want to uncover it and cook it for another 10 minutes or so, just until it gets brown and bubbly, the top. And that Swiss cheese, well, you'll see what it looks like. And that chicken is going to be so tender. Check this out. How yummy does this look? It the cheese browns up, the nuts get a little bit golden, and then this is fabulous oh, served with mashed potatoes, noodles, or my favorite, wild rice. So there you go. It's my Swiss almond chicken bake. Why not make it for dinner tonight? Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods.